wonderful audience another beautiful day here another opportunity to share the word this is going to be very brief i'm trying to catch time to try and maximize time now because time is not on my side i want us to quickly jump into the book of uh, philippians reading from chapter 3 we'll read a couple of verses and uh, hit the nail on the head as we go first of all finally my brethren rejoice in the lord that is verse 1 Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. I repeat it again. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. That's from verse 1. Now let's go down. Verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended to have apprehended. I am speaking about myself now. This is what Paul said, and I'm echoing it to you. Brethren or brothers and sisters, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Have you made mistakes in your past? He's teaching you. Forget those things which are behind and reach forth unto those things which are before. Those things which God has said concerning you, reach forth towards them and press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Have you had successes in the past? Don't dwell on them. Forget those things which are behind. They are in the past now. Reach forth unto those things which are before. Those things which you have not yet attained, which God has set forth for you, which he has given you promises concerning Press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. Anything you've attained or won by faith, which is in the past, don't dwell there. Stretch your faith. Move forward. Press on. Press on towards the mark of the prize of the high, high, high calling of God. Don't gloat in, I used to be. This happened in the past. No. Do greater things for God. Stretch forth your faith. Do exploits for him. Forget those things in the past. This this uh, uh, injunction is for two sets of people. Those who are beating themselves that they made mistakes in the past. And those who are glorying that they were champions in the past. He says, forgetting those things which are behind. If you read the scripture in context, Paul talked about some evil things which he had done in the past. Those were mistakes. He says he's forget, he has forgotten those things. He's Settled us in the blood of Jesus. He also talks about some glorious things he's done in the past. He sums all, all up together. He says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. So he's not looking at himself as one superstar. Rather, he says, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In essence, he's going for more exploits. Don't be satisfied with the status quo. Stretch your feet. Go forth for more exploits in God. In the name of my Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Hallelujah.